Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create multiple user on a DVR. So the reason is this, why we create different users on a DVR is this. Now, you might have some camera in some locations that you don't want some certain people to be viewing those cameras. The activity is going on on those cameras, the playback and other functions from that camera. Now, creating multiple users on your DVR will allow you to restrict some of these cameras from those users okay let me assume you have a secretary you have a manager and you have some other workers now you want to give your manager some feeds to be viewing from the dvr you want to restrict some cameras so i can create a user for my secretary i can also create a user for my manager and say okay secretary view these cameras and manager view these cameras so you can tell your manager to view like camera one five eight and ten then maybe your secretary to view camera 2, 3, 9, and 11, while the boss views all the whole footage from the DVR. Okay, so we'll be going to the screen now. I'm going to show you guys how you can create the admin, the manager, and the secretary, and restrict them from viewing some cameras from the DVR. So for us to create these users, I'm going to log into my DVR. Okay, so I'm going to use in, log in using the web view. So the IP address is 192.168.1.108. So admin, I'm going to log in using my password. Okay. So this is the first interface I'm going to see here. So first thing what I'm supposed to do first thing we'll do is to come to settings go to account okay so we have two options here we have normal user that is creating a normal user or creating a group for your users okay we're going to just create normal users so this is the only login user we have here which is the admin okay that is the ceo of the company so this is the only login details we have here so we can create other logins other users like we mentioned the manager and the secretary which we're going to do now and restrict them from viewing some of the cameras okay so i'm going to add so give it a username let's say manager then password password can be one two three four five six Okay, 7890. So that is manager's password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So we can add it to the admin group or we can add it to the user group. So remember admin. So every details should be under the CEO. So we're going to add it to the admin group. So user mark address, we're going to leave this for now. Remark, we're going to leave it period. Let's leave all this. Let's come down here. This is where I'm more consigned of. So all these settings here are the settings we we'll have uh, on our DVR. These are all we have on the menu of this DVR. So you can restrict this particular manager from creating another account, just like the one we just did okay we can restrict him from going to the network interface of this system we can restrict the manager from going to the storage you know checking the hard disks and knowing what's happening there we can restrict it from maintenance and some other things okay so i'm going to just leave these ones i'm going to restrict it from just this account network uh storage and maintenance okay so if you go to search, now this is an 8-channel DVR with extra two IP ports, okay? So you can restrict the manager from viewing camera 3, camera 5, and camera 9 and 10, okay? Then also in the live view, you can say, okay, manager, don't see camera this, camera this, camera this camera this okay now in terms of search is 
the past records of this camera okay so this particular three five nine and ten we are restricting the manager from viewing the past record on them okay and here in the live view you can tell him to view the live view of those camera but don't see the record like he can go back to view the records okay so in the live view he can see it see what is happening but he can go to the record okay so in the live view you can still restrict him on some cameras also all right so i'm going to click on remember period means scheduling okay you can schedule what time what date you want the manager to be seen what view that is the past record of a particular camera all right so i'm going to finish this and click on okay the password must be up to up to 8 to 32 so let's add up the password i think let's make it a manager one two three four five six seven eight okay the second one manager one two three four five six seven eight so okay so operation succeeded so come down to this user come down to this uh user we see that we now have manager which is under the group name admin okay so manager is under the group name admin but note that admin uh, manager has some restrictions okay so let's create another user again So we have a say retrieve. So password is going to be secretary one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Confirm password. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So under the group admin. The user mark address we're going to leave it uh the remark we're going to leave it so remark is just something like this okay you can just add up and they are saying that this is admins account so we can put secretary's accounts here so that's just what i mean so i don't think it's really necessary or they just put it secretary account just sc okay so it's going to appear here as a remark then period like we said now we're going to restrict uh the secretary from everything okay let's say secretary don't go to don't have access to all this menu just have access to be viewing the cameras okay your own mission is just to be viewing the cameras and for the search you don't have access to playback any of the cameras then for the live view why not you can see all the live views okay so if i click on okay i'm going to have my remark here i'm going to have my remark here and uh secretary now is under the group name admin okay so now if i log out of this account so let's log out and see this is live view Remember, we are still under. We are still under admin login. So let me see my cameras first. I think I have like four cameras here. Okay, I have this camera. There's no camera here. I have this camera. There's no camera here. So let's add one here. And let's check for another one here. Okay, let's add this. Sorry, let me add this here. So I have these four cameras here. I have uh, channel seven, channel oh, this one is not showing up. Channel three and channel five. So I have this camera here. Okay, so this is admin login. So if I log out, if I log out. Okay, one more thing before I log out. 
if I come down here, I can go to storage. See, I can access all this. I can go to. I can go to. Excuse me. Uh, go to main menu. This is main menu. You can go to search. Okay. You can choose. Uh, okay, I don't have records. I don't have hard disk inside my DVR. Just a tutorial DVR. So let's log out. So I'm going to log out. Okay. So I'm going to log in again. So instead of admin, let me use uh let me use secretary. Okay, remember secretary one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So login. So if you watch, we restrict secretary from seeing every other menus here. That's why here is blank. We ask secretary not to see all the other menus here. Okay, just the live video. So if I click on this live video, secretary can see the cameras we have. There's no problem. There's no problem, but secretary cannot play back. Okay, secretary can see the camera, which is fine. But with another camera, secretary can see all the camera we have on this DVR. But secretary cannot play back. Remember, we restrict the secretary from playing back, from going to maintenance, from seeing the hard drive, and every other thing. So that's why we're having this display. Okay, so let's go to, let's log out again. And let's see, let's log in with manager. So manager, manager, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So manager, remember we didn't restrict manager from this menu. So manager can, manager can view this menu. But remember manager cannot see some of the cameras, right? So some camera here, as you can see operation field, no permission. Okay, so we restricted manager from seeing some of the camera while he have access to see uh some other cameras like this one i don't have camera on this though let's see the one i have camera blocked on so channel seven manager can see this but this one is saying here operation failed no permission given to manager to see this okay so likewise in the playback so likewise in the playback, there are some of those cameras that manager two cannot play back. If you watch, I have just one channel one, channel two, which is the backyard, channel channel four, channel six, channel seven, and channel one. So other channel, sorry, channel eight, channel seven, channel six, channel four, the backyard, I've renamed this, then channel one. So other channel. The manager have no access to those uh, cameras, okay? But if we go back, if we log out and comes back, logging in using the admin, now admin has access to all the cameras, to all the cameras, okay? and also has access to viewing everything, every camera. So he has access to view every camera here. And also have access to playback and uh, do other settings on this DVR, okay? So, so that is just how you can create multiple users on your system and restrict them from some activities on your dvr okay so this same video i'm going to do it on the ip camera series using an nvr so that you see how it also functions here now this is our dvr 
I'm going to do that using other technology tip here so that you can see how you can create these same users using other technology. Okay, so thank you guys and see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question, if you have uh, uh, any challenge, uh, something that is confusing here, you want to, you want me to add more light to this, drop your question on the comment section below. Our social media handles are in the comment section below. The WhatsApp group is there. You can join the WhatsApp group and follow uh, some professionals and other beginners to ask questions and tackle questions on the group okay don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and uh thank you so much let's see in our next video